Hello, today we are going to cover 11.2 probability. You guys will be able to find the probability of event using theoretical, experimental, or simulation methods. So you'll notice here we have this big fraction. It says total number of ways an event can occur and total number of possible outcomes. So we know that this is the fraction that you can think of when doing probability. Number of ways an event can occur over total number of possible outcomes. So the question is, what is the probability of rolling an even on a standard dice? Now, the numbers on a dice are 1 through 6. If we write those out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if we want to know the probability of rolling an even number, I just highlight my even numbers. I know there are three even out of six total sides. And then I can go ahead and reduce that to one half. For our next example, 10 balls numbered one to 10 are placed in a bowl. If one ball is selected at random, find the probability that it is number two. So once again, we have 10 balls. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If we want the, if we're wondering the probability of the number 2 being chosen, we have one chance for that to happen out of 10 total options. So that is one chance, only one ball, that's number two. And there's one through 10 options. Okay. And then another example, what is the probability of choosing a black guinea pig from the group? So we are trying to choose black guinea pig from the group of 40. If there are four black guinea pigs, 13 brown guinea pigs, 17 white guinea pigs, and 6 multicolored guinea pigs. Well, if we know there are 4, and that's what's in question, we can choose 4 out of 40. So there's 4 black. 4 ways black can be chosen. 40 guinea pigs total. So you have a 1 tenth probability of choosing a black guinea pig. All right. So now we are going to move on and talk a little bit about odds in favor or odds against. Odds in favor is a number of ways the event can occur over the number of ways the event cannot occur. We also have odds against. This is the number of ways the event cannot occur over the number of ways an event can occur. So notice these are just like reciprocals of each other. Okay. So the numerator and denominator should add to the total possible events, then reduce. So keep this in mind too. We must reduce this, and the numerator and denominator must add to how many possible events there are. So we want to know the odds. So we're going to use one of these two of flipping a coin and getting heads. So we want the odds for getting a heads, so the event can occur. On a coin, you have one head and one tail side. So you have one way you can get a head. So that's the number of ways the event can occur over the number of ways it cannot occur. That is one. So you have heads over not heads is a one-to-one -one odds, or you can write this one-to-one. -one. And notice these, the numerator and denominator do add to two, and there are two possible outcomes. All right. And then number five, a bag contains marbles, three white, five green, and two yellow. Find the odds in favor of drawing a white marble. So we want odds for drawing a white so we have white is equal to three. The knight not white are the green plus the yellow, which is seven. So this is the not white. So 
So we end up getting a 3 to 7 odds, or you can write it 3 to 7. And then 6, a bag of Skittles contains 4 green, 5 red, and 8 yellow. What are the odds against choosing a green or red Skittle? So we want odds against instead of odds in favor. So we want not green or red on top. And we want green, red on bottom. So the not green or red is just the yellow choice. That is 8. Over the green and red, which is 9. So the odds against choosing a green or red Skittle is 8 to 9, or you can write it 8 to 9. All right, that is all we have for probability. Have a great afternoon.